Ladies and gentlemen, Farm Sim 17 is finally here for me. Unfortunately, I did not get the partner copy. Thanks, Giants. That was my fault. You're supposed to go through this some weird key program thing that you have to sign up for and all this other crap. So while every other YouTube is out there getting 80,000 views on their videos, I get none. Life will go on. Welcome to Goldcrest Valley. Tonight, I'm going to be playing uh, right now... Uh, Creatus and uh, Jared are both downloading copies. They are probably going to uh, join me in a little bit. I think we're going to actually go to uh, multiplayer and create a game. And I will make a password. So I'll be back. I'm going to pick hard. I'm not going to do the tutorial because everybody's already done the tutorial. I, I thought about doing Soznovka, but everybody's want, everybody wants to see the, va the, the valley. Soznovka mostly looks the same. It's not really... Eh, it looks... I don't know. Maybe we'll take a little tour. You know what? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe, first of all, we'll take a tour of Soznovka when we start here, and then we'll jump over to Goldcrest for the actual game. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey, my favorite color is blue, so we're all set there. My name's already Arthur. Good. And I'm not a chick, so we're good there. Oh, yeah, the mods and DLC. Well, everybody I'm going to be playing with has done the pre-order, so we all have the Field Viper and Cow Series Voltros. <laughs> Arthur's game. I'll be right back. Here we are in Soznovka. I'm excited to announce that I am getting 60 frames a second here. Now I did, oh, down to 50. Uh, I did turn off um, the uh, V-Sync. So I figured that kind of, you know, though it probably, I might turn it back on. I, it didn't have any anti-aliasing. I just set my hardware profile to very high. I'm not going to save this game, so we're not too worried about it. But I want to see First of all, what they're giving us. It looks like the Zetter is gone. Um, the crystal. The vintage Zetter crystal. Uh, but we do have... Wow, the Major 80 looks really good. I gotta say. Uh, but there are still, like Ryan pointed out when we were watching the previews, there are still non-round... The round surfaces are not really round. They're basically a bunch of flat surfaces melded together in a wireframe. What are you gonna do? But the tires look good. Um... Yeah, it does look beautiful, doesn't it, Ryan? I mean, that really looks good. No, it's got anti aliasing I've got aliasing turned on. Huh? No, it's on. Oh, yeah, maybe it's not on. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, yeah, there's definitely more. You know, it's hard to tell when you're looking on YouTube, but just being in here now, there's it's definitely sharper than the last version. It's not totally different, though. What's up, mate? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, but Soznovka looks unchanged. Let's take a look at the map view. Uh, nine. Garden Center, Grain Elevator. I don't know that they're going to have the train tracks on this one like they do uh, in the other map, which is kind of disappointing. They didn't, like, change the map at all to integrate that in. Um, let's take a look at what equipment they gave us for Soznovka. Go to the garage. We have a Zetter. The 80, and we have a Forterra. Weird. They didn't give us a Rustle Mesh Harvester. They gave us a, a Case Harvester? What? That doesn't make any sense. And then we have the Convern some of the Convert Convernland equipment. No pickup truck. Uh, we did start with $15,000 on hard, so that's kind of cool. Um, you know, and I'm not going to necessarily do, like, a garage go-through because I'll, everybody that got the video game, like, a week before I did has already been through all that. I don't know that it's necessarily necessary. I apologize, and I have a cold, so I'm going to be squeaking all night. Um, so anyway, get used to that, because that's how it is. Uh, but we are going to um, start a farm on the other map. I just Let's take a real quick look here, and then we'll jump over to, to the new map and start our game. Um, let's see. I have to get used to the controls, too, because I'm using my joystick uh, setup, and I have not used this in months. Um, but I figured, since I'm not going to be switching back and forth, I don't think this will play on my laptop, so I'm not going to be switching back and forth anymore, so I figured I'd just have it set here um, and just use this whenever I play. So let's see. i got to remember, what button did I start the engine here? Nope, that must not be it. Uh, the lights are going on and off. <laughs> hey, no slowdown when we turn the lights on. Cool. How do I start my tractor? It's like the buttons aren't working. And there's no sound. That's weird. I'll be right back. Okay, my 
I had to replace my power supply in my laptop today, and I guess I didn't, or my computer today, and I didn't get it all the way back in. So now, <coughs> I'm gonna just drive around a little bit. We've got our. Oh, I'm in reverse. Oh, oh, that's good. My pedals are backwards. That's not good. Hang on. Now the downside is here's the problem. Um, let's see, dirt stop and go braking. Oh, what is this? Keep brake button held to brake and automatically start reversing. No, I don't want that. What's the matter, kid? Okay, go potty. <laughs> well, you can change the fertilizer states. That's cool. Oh, this is neat. The help does not refill anything. That's good. That means you got to do it. It means they'll just stop. Plant growth is slow. Time scale, real time. Traffic on, dirt normal. Automatic start engine back is off. Um... Multiplayer set in settings, uh, separate accounts. This is all the same. Dang, they didn't. So you really don't have any any um, eh, differences there. Oh, but look at this. You could pay the money. And maybe this gives them actual money. Here, look at this. That's pretty cool. So I think maybe you can send money to your uh, uh, friends. That I, I hope that's really what that is. Um, help. We don't need that. Where is the control settings? General settings, help window, radio range, invert Y. My gas pedal and brake are reversed. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, though. If you, hold, if you step on the brake and then stop, it actually stops all the way and doesn't start going in reverse until you press it again, which I like. But my pedals are reversed. The, uh, you know what? I got to tell you... Sitting in game, I'll be back. I gotta fix that. This gonna make me nuts. And this is one of my biggest complaints about this game. Every time you want to make a control change, you still have to exit the game and go out to the menu. This is the most cockamamie thing I've ever seen. And it's not, if I remember right, it's not just. In, at least it has a controller support. I will say that. You know, after playing Farm Expert 2017, which has none. But still, it's a little frustrating to have to every time... Okay, so steer right should be plus, right? Yeah, so it's not. It's completely reversed. So I'm going to steer left to go right. And now left is plus, so that should save it. Here is the... Uh, the only thing I don't see, there's no controls for the force feedback. <laughs> what? Uh, you got to be kidding Logitech G13 is not a joystick. It just... Uh. But at least it sees all three of my controllers, so we shouldn't have a problem there. What is the sensitivity? Mouse sensitivity. Ah, but there is no force feedback controls. Maybe I need to go into my force feedback settings. I'll be back. Oh, Eureka! Finally it works. <laughs> that was a lot of hubbub just to get the tractor to go forward. <laughs> Hopefully the rest will be a little bit easier. My biggest concern is when I get the front loader grips on this. Boy, this tractor looks really good. i got to tell you, first of all, everything looks bigger. Now, you can change the field of view in the menu, and that is going to make some difference. Um, I think I might turn V-Sync back on again, too, because at 60 frames a second, that's really what we're recording at anyway, and the game is holding 60 frames a second pretty much everywhere I go. So let's we're going to run over to the train station and see what we got over there. Oh, I like the sounds. It looks really good, guys. And it really is running a lot smoother. So it's taking advantage somewhat of my hardware, um, whereas the other game wasn't. So Znufka looks a little happier. Um, but definitely it's the same map. My friend Jared's going to love this. He loves Znufka. <coughs> so differences. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Uh, in the cab, we still don't have a bouncy seat, and look at, as we go over the bumps, this is one of my complaints that I've been watching from the live feeds, people playing the game. As you ascend and descend hills, it's staged, so it's like up, up a little more, down a little bit, up, see that, up, 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 <laughs> then once we go over the crest, it's going to be the opposite. Down, 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 whoa, big down, 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 yeah, that's... That's not great. Not great. Signs look better. Here's a change over here. This stuff wasn't here before. That's probably the pig farm right there. I bet that's where the pigs are. Uh, I've been hoping and you know wondering if we can ram. 
like what the things that you've been wanting to do in the farm sim that none of the, the live streamers are doing are we gonna do it yeah we are Ugh, nope <laughs> rock solid cars look better though they definitely look a little bit more detailed than they did before it's a nice looking uh lotta or whatever we're dealing with there uh, but i want to see if we can hop into the train so whoops this was not the way across but we'll make it a way across um, this part looks kind of the same as the original Soznovka. Once again, we're holding 60 frames a second, so I shouldn't have a problem turning the uh, sync rate on. Uh, this part looks just like Farm Simulator 15, like there's no improvement whatsoever. There's some little fields back there that I don't remember, though. Maybe those were there, but I don't... Well, maybe those are private. Those might be like private land for the people. Because they're not for sale. They're not listed as fields. All right, so we need to make uh Let's see here. Let's look at the map. Uh, if I go to the right, I'll be near nearing the train. Oh, my map is gone. Oh, what did I do? How did I get rid of the map? Is that... Nope. Crud. All right, hold on. Ooh. You can zoom in and out of the map now. Look at that. You can jump to places, too. There's some cool stuff going on here. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm impressed. Let's see. Uh, general settings. Help window off. Icons in the game. Where's the map? Reset. Mm, nope, it's not under here. Mm, somewhere you can turn that on and off. Game settings, time scale, traffic, dirt, normal, stop and go. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Crud. I'm missing it, but that's the escape menu, right? Yep. A lot of new settings. <laughs> okay. So it's no longer I for the interface, it's escape. That's kind of hokey. But probably good. So the train will be... There's the biogas, the no longer super high fortune producing biogas plant. Things look good here. Um, definitely, I like the in-tractor view better. I feel like I'm more connected with the tractor. It's not a huge difference, but it's definitely good looking. I do feel like I'm in the tractor. The lighting looks nice. It's real. Everything's really silky smooth. That's the only thing that I'm noticing right now that's a huge difference but that road thing is going to kill me i wish they would have implemented you know there was that mod some of the tractors had it where they would bounce along the road i wish they would have implemented something like that but they didn't i see the train up ahead let's find out if we can get in it and if not we're just going to go ahead and move over to goldcrest uh, i'm ready to do and actually start the game and have some fun I'll start tutorials probably in the next week or two. I want to play the game a bit, though, and get familiarized with how it works. It's it's a little bit different than, you know, last year's model. So um, I want to make sure that I am not telling you bad information. You kind of need to play a little bit and uh, get yourself involved <laughs> before you start spouting out, which is what I did last time, and I had to go back and fix many, many, many errors in my commentary. Um, I don't necessarily like the dot, I check first. Yeah, there we go. But uh, let's go ahead and hop in the train here. Nope. So they did not give a train for Soznovka. Now, I would imagine people are going to mod stuff and make a Soznovka with trains. You know, I mean, it'll it'll happen. But there's no train facility here. Okay, so let's head over to the new map. So now we're going to start in earnest. We are at Goldcrest Valley. I'm going to slow time down to actual time. It's 6.40 in the morning. We have $15,000. We are playing on hard, so we have no crops, I believe. Um, let's take a look around see what we can find. There's an info bubble. Obviously, some information over here that we need to probably have. Oh, and I forgot to turn the sink off. I'll be right back. All right, where were we? I'm going to take a look at this thing again. Now, unfortunately, I don't have... I'm using my G13 controller, and so I don't, <laughs> I don't have a shift button mapped yet, so it's the walk of shame. It's okay, we're going to mosey on over here. I do have a cold today. I apologize. I am a little bit... Let's see. Big bags. You can refill your tools with seeds and fertilizer. Once they are empty, you'll have to buy new ones. What? You can find them in the pallet category. Whoa. Okay, so how do I see how much stuff is in here? I can't pick these up. They're too heavy. So obviously you're going to need a front loader. Object too heavy. But it doesn't tell us any information about them when we're close, so that's not interesting. Okay. Here we have our farm. This is our storage area, obviously. You guys have, I'm sure, been watching 
Dagger Win, Brad M, Squirrel, as they all got copies. Though Squirrel surprisingly only released one video. Um, what's up, Mater? Your tummy fears, feels weird. Maybe you should go down and get something to eat if your tummy feels weird. Maybe you're hungry. No. No. So Jared's going to join me later, and uh, possibly Kyle, depending on um, if they can get their computers going. But we have here... I guess my point is we'll have people to help me out. <laughs> that's the... Oh, weird. Where does this go? Okay, that's cool. Um... We have this really cool case, 1455 vintage tractor. We have three vintage tractors on the farm, uh, and we have a farm tech or metal tech trailer, professional line DB8. Uh, we also have a vintage case harvester, which I'm super excited about because this is the kind of harvesters that we see here in Ohio. Some newer, some older, but all around this vintage. Look at that beautiful thing. This is a gorgeous harvester. Looks wonderful. So let's go ahead and harvest this wheat. It's awesome, Seth. Look how good it looks. Look how sharp everything is. Yeah, pretty much. It looks better though, doesn't it? You think? A little bit. A little bit better. It's a little sharper. Everything looks bigger. It does look bigger. I will say that. I feel like. No longer do I feel like. Um, let's start this baby up. Right, and we saw the front go down. What was that all about? Hmm. How do I raise and lower this? This is gonna take me a minute, guys. I apologize. Uh, unfold it. Let's see. Let's go back outside and see what we're doing. I gotta figure out what these keys do. That unfolds. Okay, that's G10. That's my select button. Okay, works for me. Oh, I folded it back up. Well, that's cool. You can adjust the... That turns it on and off. But how do we raise and lower it? Oh, that folded something up. Okay, that's our straw swath, which we want to turn off. We want to spray... I don't want a swath going on. Um, where's the pipe out key? That's pipe out. Okay. Now, how do we just lower the header? How do I raise and lower the header? Hmm. I can't release it. Oh, that was ugly. But watch this. This is something that I was seeing on the other channels. This is pretty cool. When you pick an item up, the tires actually deflate. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to raise and lower. It should be just this to raise and lower. <coughs> well, you have to pick the implement. There we go. Okay, that's how we do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our harvest. And I'm just going to be... I, my goal is this. I want to see if I... Spread chaff on the field, or not chaff, but like the leftover uh, straw. Just like spread it out if it counts as a fertilization layer. Because in this game, you actually have to fertilize three times. So I want to see if I can save one of those times by spreading the straw uh, until we need it. Because right now, I don't need straw for anything. This harvester is all dirty. In typical Arthur fashion, once we're done harvesting, I'm going to buy a cleaner. This stuff needs to be cleaned and put away. Uh, that's the way I like my farm. Boy, it really runs smooth as silk on my computer. Now, I know you're going to ask, what is my computer? So I'm going to share my hardware specs. Seth, can you give me a glass of ice water, bud? Thanks. <laughs> he says no. No. Um, I'm running a Core i5 660K processor. It's a this year's model from earlier, though, like May. I don't know if there's anything newer out there or not. <coughs> I don't think so. But uh, this is a this year's model computer. And then, um, let's see if I select. How do I, can I raise the header by doing this? Well, that's cool. The motor sound changes when you get to the end of the field. But I need to figure out how to do this. So I'm going to, nope, that's not what I want. I want to select. Uh, is that how I do it? And I raise it. There we go. So now we can raise it while we're running. Um, so it's a newer computer. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm running off an SSD hard drive, though the game's loading off of a regular hard drive. And then, uh, and then I'm using a, a, a three R9 390 video card. That's right. You got to press twice now. That's different. Yes, Seth. 
Got to let do what? No, I don't. There's really nothing you can play on my iPad, Seth. I don't have any games on it. One game. Are you sure about that? All right, Seth, deal. But I'm not telling you my password. I'll put the password in. Seth wants to play on my iPad. I really want Seth to play Farm Sim, but I know how Seth is. He gets bored. Wow, this looks really good. I'm just... So that's what we're running. R9 390 with 8 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabyte RAM, computer with 660K, Core i5 processor. It's expensive, but it's not that expensive. I'm not running dual video cards. I'm not running, you know, anything else. And the game looks pretty dang good on here. So uh, I'm excited about that. This is this is nice. And I was afraid that I might not be able to run it, but it's running it better than Farm Sim 15 ever ran. And that's because they've done, obviously, some optimization. So... I see that Mater. Mater's getting all excited. So we're going to run this harvest, and then we'll start doing field prep. We'll take a look at our map. There's a whole bunch of new options that tells you how your field... There's a new stat page showing you all kinds of different things, showing you how your field's doing and all that good stuff. It's pretty cool. That's the wrong button. I'm trying to set my cruise control. There we go. I think I need to put the cruise control button on my steering wheel, because I have to, like... I don't know. It's not right. I don't think we're going to get too much wheat from this field, but we'll get some. Uh, another big thing in this game that's totally different is that we now have a mission system. So gone are the days of making a million dollars doing silage. They took that away from us. <laughs> Boo -hoo. Silage is gone. Oh, the pain. Uh, no more cheating, I guess. But... Uh, you can still make silage and sell it, but it's not the, the multi-million dollar business that it was in the last edition of this game. So we're going to have to rely more on our laurels. We're going to have to work hard. and But they do have a mission system that it is pretty easy to make money. Not necessarily quickly, but if... if Oh, yeah, an Ender Dragon. Hey! Mater's getting all excited here. For those of you that are new to my channel, well... I have six kids, and I'm a single dad. So, uh, yeah, there are kids in the background, and no, I'm not going to shut the door and close them out. If you don't like it, there's plenty of other channels for you to go to. I hate to be rude about it, but my kids are my priority in life, and I do this as fun. So, <laughs> And we do have fun, and sometimes I do have to tell my kids to be quiet. Sometimes my kids are cute, and they talk on the channel. In fact, you'll find lots of videos of my kids on my channel. They're part of the channel, and that's how it is. So if you don't like kids, sorry, but they're going to be here forever, pretty much. <coughs> At least till they're all grown up, and by that time I'll probably have like 8 million subscribers anyway. Or I'll be dead. <laughs> or, or have quit. <laughs> Though I don't know that I'll ever quit, because I love farming. So here it is. We're just going to start. We're going to jump right into our series. We're going to start on Goldcrest. Uh, I will probably play this map for a couple months as we get to, used to the game and having fun. Uh, and eventually we will... Um, you know, go into and start adding additional mod maps as they come out. Uh, this is also probably going to be the quote-unquote multiplayer map. As I said before, it's going to be invitation only. Um, I will at the most only ever probably have three or four people on at once. And then, uh, you know, I'll try to rotate people as time goes by. I definitely have some people that are going to continue to be uh, regulars, though. Jared being one of them, uh, Creatus being another. Uh, these guys are guys I've known for a long time, possibly Ford Man, um, some of the guys that have been on the other servers. So, uh, But you'll be definitely welcome to come in and join us and play. Uh, but I need to keep the chatter down. The issue that I had, thank you, Seth, with um, not doing it that way was that I just had a lot of people chattering on the channels. and It was not making good video. Oh, you know what? This is a problem. I'm thinking, I'm so used to playing the farm sim... 15 with the soil mod or with the soil mod and the uh, chopped straw and look there's no chopped straw I'm chopping up the straw and nothing's happening it doesn't really matter because we couldn't do anything with the straw anyway look at how good that looks it's going to be hard for you guys to tell because like I said I was watching it on YouTube and I was not impressed but I'm telling you in person this looks great it really looks better than the last version everything's so sharp look at the tires deflating oh that is so awesome I don't know if you guys can see that or not but on my screen, it looks amazing. Holy cow. I'm super excited. This looks great. Now, once again, we have a pretty dead cockpit. Uh, I don't see a lot of controls like React responding. 
There is a speedometer, though this tractor doesn't really have that many, or harvester doesn't have that many things that should <coughs> kind of show up. Uh, you can now dump stuff on the ground. You have to, there's a bunch of keystrokes you have to do to do it. It won't just do it. It's like control alt U. <laughs> so it's a specialized function. You're under the under dragon, Mater? He's playing Minecraft. He's actually pretty good at Minecraft. You're under the ender? The under dragon? Everybody's mad at me because I... <coughs> my son came home from work and wanted to talk, and I'm like, get out. <laughs> I'm playing farm sim. Get out. I've been waiting for months for this to come out. I don't want to talk right now about work. And I'm also mad at him because he's he's going to be buying uh, something from me, and he owes me like 500 bucks. and then he's like, whoa, well, I'm going to buy a PlayStation 4. And I'm like, now, wait a minute. You owe me $500. I want that money before you go out and start buying a PlayStation. He's like, oh, well, uh, it's going to be a couple months. And I'm like, uh, okay, but you have enough money to buy a PlayStation 4. Okay. John, take it easy, buddy. Oh, yeah, there's the Ender Dragon. He loves it, the Ender Dragon. He loves the Ender Dragon. So anyway, I'm a little ticked at Mark right now because I was like, um, okay, just get out. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, bye. He bought Battlefield 1 today for Ryan's PlayStation. He was, Ryan was going to let him play on it. I told him he could play in here, but no talking and no audio. I just want quiet for farming so, like I said, at some point here, Jared and Kyle will be joining me, and uh, we'll work on getting the farm some money, and then I'll even pay them so that they can have money in their account. But this thing is great. This looks wonderful. So we'll try to try that system out and see if he gets the money, if they get money. I don't think it is. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it just gives them money while they're on my server. And once again, it probably will do the same thing. When they leave, it probably will zero balance their accounts. They haven't really said much about multiplayer on their forums. So I'm assuming that's probably what the, the way that they handled it. So we can visit the outside again. Now I will say it is a lot louder outside than it is on the inside. And that's something that used to really not be the case for this game. To start heading down to the other end and doing this. I really like this harvester. It's pretty decent. Look, it's filling up good. Filling up good. Oops. <laughs> Come on, put the pipe out. Oh, I have the wrong. Never mind. I'll just wait till it's full. I'm letting that non existing or non functioning tractor know. I need help. I love the way it changes RPMs when it's actually harvesting. That's really cool. And this thing runs pretty fast when it's harvesting. At 9 kilometers an hour, we're pretty good. Why is it in kilometers? Wait a minute. <laughs> we're in America here, folks. General settings, money units, dollar, measuring units, miles. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, back. There we go. Oh, it shut it off? What? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> That's why I shut it off. Let's right, so going back up a little bit. Open the pipe. And we're going to walk over and get our tractor with the trailer. Slowly. Fastly. I'm going to use my regular keyboard for that. Let's see. What do we own here? We got 14, 15, and 12. We'll have to take a look and see what kind of equipment we have. I know for a fact we're probably going to need a fertile... Well, I don't know for a fact. Cause I'm saying I know for a fact probably. I think we need a fertilizer. <laughs> All right, so let's start this bad boy up. Nice.
Nice tractor. I love this. I love classic tractors. I'm so glad they put more cool tractors. I'm very sad, though, that they took the Zetter, the Zetter crystal out. I don't know why they did that, but whoops. <laughs> Gonna need that. Okay, come on, reverse. There we go. Oh, <laughs> meant to do that. Oh, good. I was right on there. Good. All right, so let's hop in the tractor and actually see what it looks like inside. Ooh, vintage. <laughs> Suicide on the knob there. American flag. And we do need to get a screenshot here. I am going to make screenshots again for the first probably month or two while we do these series. and I don't know. This game is going to be my primary game for a little while, though. I know those of you are going to be mad that we're playing Farm Expert. We're taking a break from Farm Expert. FS15 is done for. Let's see if he automatically dumps. Yep, good. Okay, that's cool. I just leave it running. They don't take much gas when you're not running them, so we can just let it run for now. Um, so at this field, we have stubble. We have stubble on that field going on. We have... What do we got? Uh, that other tractor looks like he's got some kind of... No, I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look at it in a minute. It's not a priority right now. <coughs> oh, pardon me, man. I just got... My throat is so nasty right now. It hurts so bad. Ugh. But as you know, I, I get stuff pretty quickly done on the farm. Oops, that's the wrong button. There we go. Pipe in. Starter up. Let's go ahead and have some engine pour. And I'm going to jump back in the cab, and we will continue our harvest. About halfway done here. So, it's like being home, man. There's not a whole lot to this that's different than what we had before, aside from a better look and... Definitely a cooler map, newer interface. Uh, I know there were some complaints out there that this is just not enough of a change. I, I hear that every time the game comes out, we hear that. Every time. When 15 came out, everybody is like, I'm not going to buy it. There's just not enough changes. It's not good enough. It's just the same game. Eh. Yeah, it kind of is. It is. But it seems like they fixed the engine problems. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see when we start getting mod maps that have too much stuff on them. And they break the engine. <laughs> probably that's going to probably happen pretty fast. So we'll see. But then also, uh, you know, the same thing. We just there's a lot of complaints always, and reasons people giving reasons why they aren't going to buy it. And that's fine. You don't have to buy it. You can always live vicariously through my channel. I think it's worth it though. Already I'm enjoying it, and you know, I am I am a farm sim fanboy. There's no question about it. Uh, am I? If I have a biased opinion. Uh, I try to be honest about stuff, though, if it's good or not good. And in this case, it seems like it's good. Right? Well, I was really going to put it downstairs because nobody's bringing their shoes up. To Did Kaka build that for you? Yeah. Who did it? Mark did? Me and Kaka. <laughs> you can use it in your closet, but you've already got one in there. Well, then I, if you're going to do that, you need to bring all the shoes upstairs. Okay. okay. All right, bring them all upstairs and put them away. Okay, now it's harvesting. Okay, six miles an hour. That's right. Okay, no, you know it's it was ten was the right speed then. It's just I forgot because I was I'm so used to seeing it in miles per hour. So we are going to actually down our cruise control speed to six also, so that when I take it out of chop mode, it doesn't go flying forward like it just did. That's not good for it. I don't think. I know in Farm Expert, you get damage your motor. In this game, I don't think you can. The tractors go by hours of usage. <coughs> so you can see there in the bottom right-hand corner, under my speedometer, it says 35 miles an hour with the little time symbol. And that is not 35 miles an hour. <laughs> 35 hours of usage. <laughs> oh, Arthur, already we're having trouble. <laughs> it's because I'm sick and I'm medicated. Uh... If I look like I'm driving a little crazy, it's... I'll tell you what, though. I'm, I'm really happy to be back using the steering wheel again. It, it's a lot of fun. I uh, can't wait till the Logitech wheel comes out. It'll probably be a couple months before I can afford it. Things are really slow right now. I've got 
Once again, like $17,000 of projects out, and nobody's paying their bills. And I'm just like, I have no money. I've got like $5 in my bank account. <laughs> Uh, I will be giving a copy away, by the way. This is the first video. I imagine more people will watch it. Stick around. you got to be subscribed. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but uh, as a uh, thank you so much for being part of the channel. I have a copy already in my mail that I'm going to give away. I might even give two copies away. I do have a hard luck case that I might be, depending on how much I have left. I had to buy a new chair because my chair broke. The kids broke it, uh, and that was 300 bucks. So, but I have a couple bucks left from YouTube. If I can make it through this month and actually get some payments in, I will be giving away two copies of the Farm Sim 2017. I've already given away two um, to friends who couldn't afford it. So uh, there's going to be some more copies that will be coming, though, for my viewers. Uh, and so that's always fun. And uh, so that will hopefully keep you guys around. But I want you guys to enjoy my channel, too. If you don't like the content, I'm not going to make you stick around. Uh, I've always believed that people, you know, will come here, they get to be part of my community, and they stay usually if they really like what they see. So I don't have people that are coming and going and coming and going. They mostly come and they stay. So that's the kind of people that I want on my channel anyway. All right. And I've got one or two strips left. I think we probably have, eh, it's probably going to take me three passes, knowing how I drive. I'm probably going to have to go a third time back. Uh, th you know, the graphics on the field really haven't changed that much. I will say that. Uh, they're smoother, but the wheat looks the same. It's, I mean, wheat is wheat, but it does. The way that it gets et and the way that it gets processed, it looks the same as it did in the last version of the game. They haven't really done anything groundbreaking there, unfortunately, for those of you that are hoping for, like, major changes in the, the wheat graphics. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's just not there. <coughs> it's just regular. Regular old wheat. Looks better than it did in 13. Looks about the same as it did in 15. Once again, smoother, though. It's just running really smooth. I guess I'm used to uh, Sandy Bay, which we probably will see. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do Sandy Bay this time because everybody did it. It's a beautiful map, but I'm ready for something different. I think... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, I am going to try to limit mods, but I would like to see a mod where we actually have a... Uh... Though I'll tell you what, having that stop and stop and break thing, that might... I was going to say I wanted a mod where I could actually control the transmission forward and backwards, but uh, this having to be able to stop and then press again to go in reverse, I don't mind that as much. That's kind of like how spin tires is set up, and it works. Um, <laughs> it's much better than holding the brake down and all of a sudden you're going in reverse, so I'm glad they fixed that. Turn around here. Don't hit the trees. Yep, two more passes. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to get them both. That's okay. We got time. We got all the time in the world. And I think I'm going to try to record everything. I see a lot of guys cutting stuff out. I don't want to do that. We'll see. You know, if I have to get into like a two and a half hour harvesting of a field, yeah, maybe it's time to to do something different, but uh, <coughs> like I said, I'd like to have people on here helping me, so I said, uh, I think Kyle and Jared are going to hop on, um, so we should have some help from them here shortly, but I'm going to probably do most of the work myself. The hired workers cost a fortune now, uh, and we don't have any money. Now, the, like I said, the good thing is you have a mission system, so where I was getting, uh, the silage is gone. But they do have a way for you to make some decent money. Um, you can go to neighbors' fields and take missions. And the other thing that that does is you gain reputation with your neighbors. Um, if you have a high enough rep with your neighbors, they will start giving you fields at a discount. So, uh, like, let's say a field is like two hundred thousand dollars. Well, he might sell it to you for one hundred and fifty if he likes you enough. So you, you want to keep going over to your neighbors' houses during the different phases of growth and help them out. And when you do this, they will... Oh, this is a perfect two-tank two trip here. Um, if you do that, they will actually start to like you and give you better deals when they sell you their fields. So if you're looking at a field that you want, your best bet is to... Um, hang on, let me select this here and turn this off. Open the pipe. 
your best bet if you have a if you have a field that you're interested in and you want to uh, purchase it, um, <coughs> you want to start working for that farmer. So you go over, see what he can, what needs to be done on the field, and he will show you, you know, what he wants done, and then he'll pay you. But not only that, but as your reputation with him goes up, like I said, he'll give you a better deal on on buying the field. So, boy, I don't know how these guys do it. I can kind of see the pipe coming out there. It'd be hard to tell if you're over it. There we go. We're good. We're good. Now this trailer may fill up. I don't know. We might need to get a second trailer. But for now, it's okay. When we have a, a fertilizer on this field, yes, yeah, so that's full already. Uh, we need bigger tippers. Okay, so we're going to park this here, though, for a sec. We're going to hop out. Oh, wait, I didn't want to close that. Hang on me. <laughs> I hear the pipe coming out, but I don't see it. Okay. Let's walk on over. Oh, look, the lights. Look at that. It's actually lighting the tractor up from the, the harvester has his headlights on. That's really cool. All right. I'm going to run on down. Yeah, this looks great. Which one was covered? There we go. Cover it up so we don't spill any. And we are going to sell this stuff pretty much right away, but I want to get it all into the amp. Well... I guess we could just go sell it. No, because I want to get the harvester put away. And we need to buy, we need to order a, a cleaner. I can't stand not being able to clean my equipment. So we're going to take care of that too. Now, we don't have any gas on the farm, so we might eventually have to get a trailer for gas. Though there might be a pump. I haven't looked around hard yet. But I didn't see one at first. Look, at that. Look how nice that looks. Pretty cool stuff. There we go. We're dumping the tipper. And we're going to go back and grab the rest. Yeah, I know what the silos are for. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> now, one of the things I like about using the gas pedal and brakes is that you, like if you have a, a steering wheel, is that it does kind of tend to help you drive a little more scale. Um, so you're not, like, flying down the road. Let's see, my hazards are... Is that this one? Nope. Is it this... I thought I set hazards to... Nope. Oh, that's not it. I'm jamming gears. I'm so used to driving the truck simulator. Where's my hazards? I thought I put them right here, but I, maybe... Is this it? Nope. I just want to see where my stuff is. I guess it does. You don't really need hazards, I guess, if you're using uh, the b the beacons. But did I miss? No. Okay. <laughs> like, come on. All right. So we're gonna hop out here. Do -do -do. What, John, what are you doing there, bubs? What are you, kid? What are you doing? Sorry. No, you can't play that game. Whatever you're trying to play. <coughs> if you need help, go ask Marky. All right, so we're gonna put that away, and we're gonna drive this down, and we're gonna buy our cleaner. I know, like I said, it's a pretty big chunk of money for our first. Hey, John, knock that off, kid. And as we get more equipment, you can see here, we can park it out here. We don't, we don't have to have it in there. All right, John, that's good. You can't do that one. Go ask Mark to help you, honey. It might be because Soupy's playing it downstairs, and you might not be able to play it anymore. Sorry, kid. Well, you, you only have one Minecraft account. It's between you and, and, and Mark. Oh, there it is. No, it's working now. There you go. Oh my. All right, so where do we want to put the cleaner? Let's let's take a look here and uh definitely want to get a 
placeables. We got a cleaner, forty-five hundred bucks vehicle workshop heating plant. Dropping wood shops so this person heat and earns you money. That's cool. Oh, you can have a wood chipper. Look at all this stuff. Look at these placeables. Sorry, buddy. Like I said, if you need help, you need to go talk to Ryan. I don't know anything about that game. Water tower. What does that do? What does a water tower do? Ah, water tanks with fresh water. The water tower can supply your water tanks. Huh, that's weird. This must be like a pump. This workshop allows you... <coughs> to create a spot anywhere on the map where you can customize your machinery. Oh, so you don't have to pay a mechanic. That's pretty cool. Hang on a second. Hey, Mark, can you please help Mater? Buy that. And I want to put it... Um, Evelyn. You have... That brown knight stand in my corner of my room we don't need. Okay. Do you have... Do we just How do I rotate? Or does anyone want to take it? What nightstand? The brown nightstand in my room. I have no idea, kid. Do you want it? I don't want it. Okay. If I put it right... What if I put it here? Oh, let's see if Kyle's got it. <laughs> he said it's so beautiful. Hang on a second, folks. <laughs> 